Burnaby Deer Lake. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, it's my great pleasure to pay tribute today to Mark Angelo, who has recently retired from a prestigious career at the BC Institute of Technology. Mark was involved with ri river conservation and restoration efforts for over four decades. He established and was the inaugural chair of the Rivers Institute at BCIT, and through that institute has worked with river-related organizations uh, throughout the world. Mark, esta Mark established BC Rivers Day back in 1980, and now World Rivers Day, which he still chairs septem on September 25th, involves 65 countries and millions of people. Mark has a special passion for our local waterways, and was instrumental in restoring Gishon Creek at BCIT, which was essentially a severely damaged ditch, but is now a classic example of urban stream restoration. He's also been an advocate for streams such as Britannia Creek uh, since 1975. He says it was a lonely cause back then. In early September of last year, salmon returned to Britannia Creek for the first time in a century. Mark has received both the Order of BC and the Order of Canada. For Mark, the formal, formal career is over, but the work is not. I recently attended the amazing Water for Life benefit concert filmed by Global. Due to that success, Mark now, have, now has plans to make a documentary on river-related issues with a global reach, focusing on rivers lost, rivers saved, and rivers restored. I don't know how he's going to fit in time for his other loves, uh, which include paddling and his family. Mark is one of those people who has and, has and continues to change the world and the way we think about our rivers. I will finish with a quote from Mark himself. He says, our waterways have so many values, they do so much for the quality of life that we all enjoy. They have these spectacular natural and recreational values. So I think we have to do everything we can to ensure they're properly cared for. Thank you.